was not even going to deal with this. I was literally going to throw everything away. But I think I asked you guys in my skincare empty products video recently if you would want to see my collective empty products. The stuff is really old and I'm not sure how much I'm even going to really remember a lot of the stuff, especially at the bottom. But this is like what I keep in my closet and it's like filled to the brim with empty products. So I'm going to try and go fast. I probably will be talking fast, but I do just want to get through it and give you guys kind of brief, quick reviews on these things. And I hope you find it helpful. Before we get into this video too, I did just want to say that I think in my last empty products video, the one I did very recently, the skincare empty products, I floated the idea of doing a Q and A, a lot of you seemed interested and into it. So some people left questions on that video, but if you didn't and you have a question for me about, I guess anything really, it can be about beauty products, it can be about me and my life. If there's anything you want to ask to get to know me better, if you're interested in that, um, just leave a comment here. I will tackle those in a video soon. <laughs> It's mostly body care products, I think, because I tend to go through those pretty quickly and also tend to be really dissatisfied with body care products. A lot of what is here on the top is body care, so why is it so awkward to segue from an intro just like right into the video? I don't know, but I feel like I'm always like nervously blabbing, so why don't I just start telling you about the empty products and try and not obsessively touch my hair? <laughs> okay, so right on the top here, I see two or more, actually several, body scrubs. Now this is a category of product I am in dire need of your recommendations for because I'm pretty dissatisfied with a lot of lower end, sort of more affordable body scrubs that I've been using. So this is the Giovanni Hot Chocolate Sugar Scrub, which I actually do really like as far as affordable sort of five to $15 price point products. I do really like this one. They also make a lemon mint, lemonade mint or something, which I haven't tried. And then this one I hated but used. It's the Alba Botanica Hawaiian body scrub. This was a salt scrub and I just, I don't really like anything from Alba. They're similar to Andalou Naturals for me. I just don't like anything. This was just sickeningly sort of sweet and that's, I don't really want to talk about it anymore. <laughs> I'm currently using a deep steep sugar scrub and I kind of hate it too. Like I'm really dissatisfied satisfied with it. It smells way too strong. It leaves me like an oil slick. I just really don't like it. And then I had tried a Zoom body scrub, which is in my disappointing products pile because I can't even use that one. I'm about due to do a disappointing products video, so stay tuned for that. This is a very old Pettivore thing. It's the Balanced Guru Scrub Me Nice and Gritty Body Scrub. This was a coffee scrub and I, I guess it was okay. It was better than some of these. I did like the way it smelled, but it leaves your shower really, really dirty because it's like coffee granules. I am also currently not drinking coffee, trying really hard not to drink coffee until August as part of my medical intuitive prescription. And the smell of coffee honestly like makes me a little bit triggered. So anyway, I, yeah, I wouldn't necessarily recommend this product, although it was fine to try, I guess. Okay, now there's some lotions. Oh no, one more scrub. This is the Vanna Body Peppermint and Cypress Body Scrub. This I did like, they reached out to me, this company, and offered to let me pick something from their range and try. I think I did an Instagram post about this but I never really fully reviewed it. They do um, skincare and a limited amount of body care. I really liked this, but this is turning into just like musings on body scrubs. But while I don't like the cheaper ones, I have a hard time stomaching paying like $30 for a scrub because I go through them within like three to four weeks, I would say, because I like to use them really regularly. And I don't like to make my own just because I'm lazy and there's certain things that I like to outsource in life and body scrubs is one of those things. They had another scent combination, so maybe I would consider buying a jar of this for myself. Either way, I did enjoy getting to try it. Okay, now some body creams. Super sad to have used this up. This is the Red Flower Arctic Berry Cloud Milk Cream. This is a past Beauty Heroes product. It's carried in the Beauty Heroes shop and I was sent this to test out and let you guys know about a promotion they were doing in February and so it's June now. I used it really regularly and that's how long it lasted me. 
oh, this product is incredible. There really is, I guess, a difference, now that I'm sitting here talking about it, between lower end body care products and higher end body care products. It's just, there's, these are so much nicer. It's like spa quality. So I'm going to, I'm intending to purchase this for myself along with the uh, exfoliator that came with this, which is a very gentle exfoliator. It's the exfoliating agent is strawberry seeds rather than salt or sugar. So it's very gentle, but really super nice. And a full size of the cream in the fall, because I do think that these are slightly more moisturizing and I don't really feel like I need this much, much moisture in the summer though. If you, I think that it's light enough to use in the summer if you wanted. I just have other stuff I'm using up now, but definitely will be getting this back in my life because I loved it. This is the Milk and Honey Ylang Ylang Rose Geranium and Petty Grain Body Cream. I don't know if your guys' Whole Foods carries this milk and honey range, but they're carried in the Whole Foods around Boston. I treated myself to this and a body oil, which is right here. The Bath and Body Oil and Eucalyptus, Arnica, Rosemary, and Sweet Marjoram. They were not inexpensive and I had a gift certificate to Whole Foods, so I splurged on these. I think I would buy either or both of these again. They do have other scent combinations and again, it's just kind of like a step up in terms of quality and it does feel like kind of an at-home spa experience. Never not without expensive taste in products. Um, let's see. This was a shower gel. It's by the brand Savvy Pure and Natural, and this is the Tahitian Vanilla and Kukui Body Wash with Moringa Oil. This came from my good friend Aideen, who sent it to me in a care package last year. I used the whole thing up and I really enjoyed it, and actually Pharmaca, I'm pretty sure, carries this line. You could tell it was a natural product, but, and I don't mean that in a disparaging way, it was just, it didn't suds a lot, and the scent was very mild, but really super lovely, kind of like an all-natural vanilla marshmallow cupcake scent profile. I feel like I describe, like the Josh Rosebrook Hydrating Accelerator I described like that, it's the same scent profile, like very lightly vanilla, Tahitian vanilla. So I really enjoyed this. I was sad when it ran out. I would consider purchasing it again for myself. It's a brand I don't know much about. I'm sure they probably make other shower gel scents and I would recommend them. I think very cleanly formulated. I also really enjoyed using this. I do my nails at home. I get pedicures out, but I do my own manicures. And I really enjoyed doing a squeeze of this in a little bowl of warm water and soaking my hands in it. If for some reason it seemed to work really well for sort of softening my cuticles and prepping them for a manicure. I know that's like a really specific use, but that's sort of a little tip if you do your nails at home too. It just kind of, I don't know, I'm all about just self-care and feeling pampered at home 24 7 so i don't know what that says about me but yes i really liked this and then a more budget uh shower product although i don't really use dr bronner's in the shower much anymore but this is i think this is the 16 ounce of the unscented baby mild i primarily use this to wash makeup brushes interchanging with the benjabel totally blinking Benjabel solid makeup brush cleanser. I'll use this cut with water in a foaming hand pump dispenser for kitchen and bathroom use. So I always have Dr. Bronner's around. I have a peppermint one going right now. The baby mild one is just unscented, really versatile. You can customize it. Everyone knows about Dr. Bronner's. I don't need to keep talking about it. This is the Avalon Organics Aloe Unscented Moisturizing Cream Shave. A viewer of mine recommended this and I thought it was okay. I don't think I would repurchase it. I am using up shampoos and conditioners that didn't work for my hair right now to shave with. So I, I tend to not often buy a dedicated shave product. This, I mean, I guess it was fine. Uh, it was inoffensively scented gave a nice barrier between the razor and my skin. I don't tend to get razor burn, it's not really an issue for me, but if you're looking for an affordable shave cream, I think this is probably a nice option. Oh, this was another thing from Aideen that I really savored to the last bit. It's the Holistic Science Company Tamanu Kukui Manoi TR, TRA Sun and Surf Vegan Body Butter. This was absolutely incredible. And Holistic Science Company is a San Diego-based body care, dental care, oral care. I, th I don't know what other kind of products they do. 
Oh gosh, I miss this so much. It has a very warm cardamom scent to it and it's on my list to repurchase. I used this as a night cream um, for my hands. I kept it on my bedside table. Just like sexy and beautiful and warm and comforting and tropical, like just gorgeously scented, very moisturizing, really sort of luxe. The ingredients are great. It's a really nice company, sort of higher price point, but if you don't, if you've never tried anything from them, I highly recommend um, checking out their website. It's also beautiful aesthetic. I went through a little Agent Nature deodorant stick. This came in an Art of Organics box that someone gifted me and I was supposed to review but didn't. I still actually have it but it's from the fall so I don't think it's worth reviewing at this point but I am aware of them as a subscription box but they've sort of changed. They used to be like $60 now I think that they're more on par with Beauty Heroes like $39 or $40 um, and they tend to showcase brands that are a little less well known than what Beauty Heroes showcases. So I'm interested. I might actually consider um, get it. I don't know. I might look into them. Not like I need more products, but I'm always trying to test out stuff for you guys. So this came in that box. I do think that the presentation of Agent Nature is on point. It comes in like a velvet bag. Always makes things feel nice. This is, I'm pretty sure, the travel size. The only issue I had was that my twisty malfunctioned and so I had to scoop everything out and use it as I would use Schmitz just kind of the finger rubbing on the pits technique I thought it was totally fine I didn't think it was any more luxe or nice than anything else I've used before la vanilla I guess like I should be assessing a deodorant in terms of efficacy and not luxeness <laughs> Um, it was perfectly effective on me, as most deodorants tend to be. The only natural deodorant I really don't care for all that much is Meow Meow Tweet, and I know that they're like a total cult favorite, so I'm the big weirdo in that department, but actually my favorite all-natural deodorant though is Schmitz, and I have an empty one of the Lavender and Sage in here. This is not a full size, this I'm pretty sure was a travel size that someone gave me. Rue, maybe? We all just trade around products when we get together, so if I didn't buy it, it came from one of my Boston blogger friends. <laughs> I really enjoy Schmitz. I've tried like every scent at this point. I think my favorite is the Cedarwood and Juniper. So I think my end review on Agent Nature would be you'd probably enjoy it, but I'm not sure it's worth like going out of your way to get. I do know it, that it's the Love More promotion add-on if you spend $100 in the Beauty Hero shop during June. So if you happen to try it out, I think you'll probably enjoy it because I think it's a nice product. This is an Acure Oatmeal and Apple Pie Argan Oil Soap. I bought this because Danielle from Cruelty Free Vegan Beauty is obsessed with these bar soaps. They come in like six different scents and she said this was her favorite. I gotta be honest and say I really didn't like it. I didn't like it at all for my body. Well, there's several things I didn't like about it. I didn't really like the scent, unfortunately. Too, like, generic fall scent, I guess, if that makes sense. It just wasn't really for me. And beyond this, it hurt my body. The exfoliating chunks in it were just, like, rough. And it was, it just wasn't really that enjoyable to use. So. I stopped using it in the shower and I would just cut chunks off of it and use it as a hand soap in the bathroom to use it up, but I, I really didn't like this. Sorry, Danielle, I know that you enjoy them, but not was not for me. So I have another Dr. Bronner's. This is the same size of the almond. Oh, I love this one. This one is probably my favorite. Yeah. I have an Aloha Bay Love Chakra Energy Candle. This and it's out of frame, but I have a Half Burned Abundance Aloha Bay Chakra Energy Candle, and those two are my favorites. The Love one is, you would think the Love one would be the Heart Chakra. I hate the Aloha Bay Heart Chakra Candle. It's disgusting. Never buy it. This is actually the aligned with the Sacral Chakra, and it's Cedar, Spruce, and Rosemary. So this one I really enjoy. A Yorok Feed Your Ends Leave-In Conditioner. I liked this. I think this came in a Petty War box, actually, which I haven't gotten in a long time. I liked this. It's slightly subsumed behind my Intelligent Nutrients Leave-In Conditioner. For some reason, I don't even think a lot of people would like the Intelligent Nutrients Leave-In Conditioner and Hairspray. They have just been my daily hairstyling products for 
four or five years at this point and I don't even know why they're super hippie they smell like pizza because they smell like oregano <laughs> I just like I have this like strange attachment to those products but Yurok is much more sort of a fresh citrus scent profile this one I feel gives a little bit more volume actually than the intelligent nutrients leave-in that one I consider more like a hair lotion I guess if that makes sense both of them don't leave any residue they're very lightweight and just kind of are sort of nice as far as all, all natural styling products go I would say I have a Yurok feed your volume shampoo the conditioner I feel like should be in there too maybe I used that up um, sooner yeah I thought it would be in here anyway I think Autumn sent me these, didn't you? <laughs> I have a viewer and regular commenter, Autumn, who you guys probably all would recognize if you peruse the comments on my videos. She sent me a really lovely package of stuff around the holidays, and it this was in it, I'm pretty sure. I can't quite remember. So the conditioner is totally, like, number one holy grail status for me. As far as conditioners, the Yurok conditioner and the Wonder Seed conditioner are number ones like for life I will always repurchase them the shampoo I do like although I prefer inner sense and the wonder seed shampoo slightly to the Yurok um, feed your volume shampoo I've never tried the feed your moisture range I think it would probably be too heavy as Rawa is too heavy on me and I think that those are more for people with thicker hair curly hair that needs a lot of moisture obviously I tend to always go for volumizing products and I just I love your rock they're sort of OG in the eco beauty hair space and I think for good reason I also have a pure harmony shampoo gentle cleansing hair bath for fine to normal hair deluxe sample I have a full size of this in my shower right now and literally before I sat down to do this video, I went to check the mail and I had a package from Innersense on my doorstep, which I was expecting, but they contacted me after um, an Instagram post that I showed one of their products and they wanted to send me a, sort of their full range of products. So I'm so excited to get to try their styling products now too, and also the conditioner, which I've never tried. So stay tuned because after I've used them for a couple of weeks, I'd love to do sort of a full review if you'd be interested in hearing more about InnerSense because I think they're a fantastic company. They have worked with Beauty Heroes in the past, so you can get their stuff on the Beauty Heroes shop for 15% off, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, more on them forthcoming. La Vanilla in Vanilla Grapefruit. I'm currently using the Vanilla Lemon. They honestly all smell incredible. I love La Vanilla. Just highly recommend to everybody it works for me I love to layer it with other stuff oh I do also have a meow meow tweet as I was saying I don't love this stuff this is the deodorant cream and lavender my legs always fall asleep when I'm filming <laughs> so I have, that's why I kind of like move around sometimes I don't know this the texture of the meow meow tweet deodorant is like weird to me it's very smooth and creamy and I feel like in comparison to the Schmitz the Schmitz is a little bit more grippy it has like kind of more it's like uh, I don't I don't quite know how to describe it this is a little bit more whipped I guess I can see how some people would really like that for some reason I just I didn't like the way it wore on me sometimes it's just you know you just don't don't like it for some like odd reason I'm not even sure I can put my finger on it I didn't like the texture I didn't feel like it was as effective as Schmitz on me and I also just didn't like the way my armpits felt at the end of the day I know that that's weird okay not much more I promise this is a total throwaway product this came this was I think in the last petty war box I ever got and I after that box I was like I'm done like I'm throwing in the towel I can't keep like accumulating stuff I'm not using this is the Nubian heritage mango butter it's like a body butter I this was basically unusable it was just so like thick and awful and you couldn't spread it and it was like good luck trying to put any kind of clothing on after you Put this on your body i just thought it was horrible i have used nubian heritage lotions in the past now they are too strongly scented for me i don't know i'm like a weirdo with scent now i mean like it's weird because i can still use orbe in my hair but i can't use like alba botanica and nubian heritage it's really strange um i use a very small amount of orbe but still anyway horrible 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 product sorry 
not sorry. A 100% pure hand cream. This is the French lavender hand buttercream. Also was in a Petit Vor box. Probably the one 100% pure product I have liked that I have tried. I don't really care for the brand. I may tackle that in a Q&A video. <laughs> I mean, there's not much to it. I just don't like the brand, but I, I could expound on it more in a Q&A maybe. I do, I did buy another one of these though. I now have the grapefruit one and it's, I take it in my work bag, my on the go bag. And I think it's a nice portable, affordable hand cream and it kind of stops there. Not an empties video without an empty Dr. Tongue's best floss of life so I just ordered six new packs of this off Amazon so if you've never tried this floss then you can thank me later I feel like I say that in every empties video but it's really good stuff two mascaras Lily Lolo and Too Faced Better Than Sex have bitten the bullet. I am currently using a small size of the Better Than Sex, which I can't be without. I love this mascara. And instead of going for another Lily Lolo, I decided to try the It Superhero Mascara because I'd just been hearing so much about it and I'm not that much of a purist when it comes to mascara brands. So I am liking it and I will update you guys I guess in a I don't know video blog post I don't know how to tackle these things I just I'm always trying too much stuff it's hard to keep on top of reviewing a makeup brush that I'm getting rid of this is a MAC 219 pencil brush it's kind of weird to have I guess a makeup brush in your empty products but I'm just over it it's really old the end is frayed I don't I feel like it's too rough on my lower lash line which is what I would use this for to smudge out liner on the lower lash line. I do still have the 217 which I like but my MAC 187 I think is the only other MAC brush I have and it sheds horribly. I think I'm going to replace it with the Makeup Forever 122 brush which I've seen Tamira Jarrell use and looks like a great replacement for the MAC 187. I have a Wayne Goss, it's either the 5 or the 6, that I was intending to get as a dupe for this. It's not an exact dupe, um, also because this is, was a much stiffer brush. The Wayne Goss brushes are squirrel hair, so they're very, very soft. They're beautiful and luxe and amazing, but I kind of want to have um, companion soft luxe brushes and then similar shapes in stiffer, uh, more synthetic or goat hair brushes, which is what the 219 and the 217 are. Anyway, this is not a freaking makeup brush review video. Okay, this is the last stuff. An empty Zuzu Lux liquid liner in Raven. I just opened a, a fresh one of these literally today to do my liner. Does it look on point? I had been trying several other liquid liners, namely the Hush and Dottie massive fail by the way and the Shantikai also a massive fail I wanted to do a liquid liner kind of roundup video I did film footage of the Shantikai pen I still have to film footage of the Hush and Dottie liquid liner both of them I did not like and then I just couldn't decide what to try next as part of that lineup review so I just bought another Zuzu Lux <laughs> so that's the deal with that I'm getting rid of this just because I bought this from Spirit Beauty Lounge in like 2010. No joke. And I bought it with the express purpose of trying to fade a scar, which I still have, on my shin because I was helping a friend move and I... It was like one of the worst gashes I've ever had. It was so strange. I like rammed my shin into the edge of a U-Haul. It like took a, like a chunk of my skin out and it was one of those moments where I like saw stars but I just kind of like, I don't know, have you ever had that one of those moments where like in the moment you're just so dazed that you keep going? <laughs> anyway, I still have a scar on my leg for that. That was why I bought this. It didn't really work and it's probably old, just old and no good at this point. Briogeo, I talked about this recently. This is the Briogeo Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask. I have this in the shower. I probably have one or two more uses out of it. I decanted it and I actually decanted quite a bit. I really like this and I'm considering purchasing a full size. It's just a really lovely, lightweight, but very nourishing hair mask that I use as just an a, ends of my hair conditioner. It smells gorgeous, like lightly fruity. I think TT Sandra described it as like light peach. And it's really nice if you have Briogeo 
in your local Sephora in store I'd recommend going to kind of get samples or test them out because I think they're nice and eco pretty eco and then I'm tossing this French girl mineral lip tint in the color cerise this came in a petty war box I used it for a while then it was like living in my gym bag and I just haven't reached for it in ages and I just have plenty of other lip balms that I like better I didn't think that this was anything special I do like the concept of French girl organics I mean you know francophiles unite Thank you guys so much for watching this long video. I'm always amazed that people will stick around 20 plus minutes to hear me blab. But if you have questions beyond what I talked about in this video, please leave them in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe. I try and upload two videos a week. So I will look forward to seeing you in my next video in a couple of days. Bye.